All right, y'all. If we can forgive Marvel for Iron Man 2 and 3, surely we can forgive DC for BVS and Suicide Squad. So today I'm excited as hell to be reviewing Justice League which I saw last night and I wanted to let it marinate for about a day to really gather all my thoughts and just really figure out if I really loved it or not. I was nervous as hell going into this movie just because I'm a big fan of the Justice League and early on there were talks of it not being too good. Executives were saying that it's unwatchable and it just went through a whole lot of problems, a lot of rewrites and reshoots and everything. And Joss Whedon had to come along and I guess help tweak a few things. So I was nervous coming into this movie because I'm like, man, you know, I, as much as I love the Avengers movies, I was a Justice League fan first. Uh, I watched the Super Friends as a kid. Okay, I did collect the comic books, Christopher Reeve, Superman, uh, Michael Keaton's Batman, even the Adam West Batman. So DC was like my first exposure to, to superheroes on film and on TV. Okay, Marvel didn't come until a little bit later on. So... At heart, I am a Justice League fan, even though I kind of uh, veered toward Marvel more, but I love the Justice League. So, coming to this movie, I was like, man, please don't mess up my childhood. And I will say, this movie was off the chain. Love this movie, man. Like, I was so pumped from the opening of it. I was like, okay, I think they finally got it right. And man, did they nail it. Now, this is not a perfect film, okay, not by a long shot. It, it is it is predictable, okay, the plot is a little weak, okay, but it's an ensemble superhero movie, okay, I don't expect a really good plot, and Steppenwolf I thought was a pretty generic villain, like he wasn't bad, he wasn't good, he was like kind of in between, but it was a good enough villain to still make the movie work, but he was a generic uh, villain. He did have a creepy voice, though. His voice did kind of creep me out a little bit. You can see where Zack Snyder and Joss Whedon uh, put their input into this film because there are a lot of shots and a lot of effects where you see Zack Snyder written all over it. And then there were some times where you see Joss Whedon's stand put on it, especially when they're interacting with each other because nobody does an ensemble movie like Joss Whedon, which he's proved with two Avengers movies. So I thought that it worked perfectly. The chemistry was good. There were no weak links in this film, okay, as far as the Justice League themselves. Everybody had a moment to shine. Everybody stood out. And yes, it's no secret, the Man of Steel is in this film, okay? But I'm going to get more to that in the spoiler talk, but Superman is in this movie. And, man, well, they, they must have heard my complaints that I have for BVS because... BVS, Batman v Superman, was a big letdown in a lot of ways. I did not like it very much, okay? Besides the warehouse scene and the fight with Doomsday, other than that, that movie was straight trash. I cannot stand it. But one of the issues I had with BVS was Superman. He had no character, he had no personality, and he was soft. This is the Man of Steel, and he was soft as baby. <clears throat> Just the character of Superman himself he's he's not he wasn't the superman that i know and love like he was just too serious he was he was just brooding all the time he just he just had he had the, he had superman had the personality of a wet mop in this movie it actually showed superman's power in his full glory i'm gonna keep the spoiler free because there's a lot of spoiler talk that i want to talk about in my spoiler review the flash at first i was a little annoyed with him because okay i said okay this is like the comic relief i can see this is gonna be like the jar jar binks in this movie or um, how Spider-Man was in, in Civil War. It was, it was kind of like that. As the movie went on, his character started to grow on me, and he did have some funny moments. Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, um, she kills it again. You know, I, there's nothing bad I can say about her performance. Jason Momoa is Aquaman. Um, he was badass. The guy looked, uh, he looked, he looks completely opposite of the Aquaman that I grew up watching, because Aquaman back in the day, was corny okay even in the in the super friends cartoon he was corny he was everybody's least favorite character why was he even on the show i have no idea but in this movie he totally just erases that corniness and now aquaman is considered a badass character and he killed it in this role i've never been much of a ben affleck fan especially what he did with daredevil but i think he is a good enough batman to where he fits into this universe I did, I did buy him as Batman, okay, and I would like to see him stick around. I want to see him do more Batman movies, I mean more Justice League movies and Batman movies, 
the battles were, there was some crazy battles in this movie, and there was even a point, like, especially the climax, I'm just like, like, I was busting all kind of nerdgasms, man, like, this movie, this film was crazy, I left pumped, I left charged, but you know what, as big as this movie is, it still felt like it was on a smaller scale as compared to the Avengers, both Avengers movies, like, it was smaller in scale, it seemed like, but it still worked. You know, it's it's a comic book movie, okay? It's this is exactly what a comic book movie is supposed to be. Yes, yeah, on a smaller scale than the Avengers. It's not the Avengers, but you know what? So what? I had so much fun in this movie that I cannot wait to go see it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up, man. I'm gonna give Justice League an A. A solid A. Uh one of the best superhero films of this year. Um, is it better than Thor Ragnarok? Uh I got to really think about that one. I got to think about that one. But it is it is on the same level. Okay, it is on the same level. I, I enjoyed it probably just as much. Uh, which one was the better movie? I have to think about that some more. Because I don't want to just, off the top of the head, just say which one was better. Then think about it again and be like, nah. Kind of like my Jeepers Creepers 3 review. <laughs> so, um, but I enjoyed it just as much. But so far this year, as far as superhero films go... I think DC has won the race against Marvel because Wonder Woman was great and this one is great. Uh, Thor Ragnarok was great, but Spider-Man Homecoming was average. So that's why I say uh, DC gets the edge over Marvel this year, and I didn't think that I was going to say that. So big ups to DC. I'm not a fanboy of Marvel. I'm not a fanboy of DC. I, as growing up, I collected both comics, so I love all of those characters, and I want to see them all do great films, and this one absolutely delivered to me. So I give Justice League an A. What did you guys think? Comment below. Comment freely. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.